sa Project of Asia Binaan, the instructor in UEB. Hello! Now, I will gonna show you on how to use Adobe Photoshop. So, let's start. Uh, right here, we have the search button, um, Adobe Photoshop. So, we have two available applications here of Adobe Photoshop. I prefer the old one, the Adobe Photoshop 2020. So, let's open it. So when we say Adobe Photoshop, um, it is a software application for image editing and photo retouching for use on Windows or Mac OS computers. Photoshop offers users the ability to create, enhance, or otherwise edit image, artwork, and illustrations. So changing backgrounds, simulating a real-life painting, or creating an alternative view of the universe are all possible with Adobe Photoshop. So, yan, nag-open na siya. So, pag sinabing open, we have an existing one. So, let's start with the creating new one. So, we have here the width, height. Yan, naglagay tayo. So, for example, 8 by 11. Pixels. Great. So here's the Adobe Photoshop. So let me introduce you. Um, ito, mga to, file edit image lay layer type select filter 3D view window and help. It is called the application bar. Then yung nandito naman is the option bar. And so yung manakikita nyo dito is the toolbar. Then, ito naman is the document window or the workspace. Ayan. Then, workspace options. Ito. Nandito makikita yung mga layers. Then, yung mga palettes. Ayan. Mga colors. So, dito tayo sa tools. So, so this is the, the move tool. Move tool, it moves a selection or a layer. So, for example, maglagay tayo ng shape. Ayan, rectangle. So, if I click this move tool, hindi natin kung mag-move siya. Ayan. Ayan yung use niya. Move tool. The next one is the ellipse. Ayan. Elliptical market tool. It makes a selection in the shape of an ellipse. Next is lasso tool. Makes fresh freehand selection. selections. Next is the quick selection tool. Makes a selection by finding a following the edges in an image. So, kung mapapansin nyo dyan sa, yan, yung kamay. Then, next is the crop tool. So, ito nga pala is a selection tool. So, kung mapapansin nyo is mga select-select siya. So, the move tool, ele ele elliptical market tool, um, lasso tool, and then the quick selection tool. Then, next is the crop and slice tool. So, we have here the crop tool. It trims or expands the edges of an image. Ayan. Then, next is the frame tool. It creates, it, it's create, it create placeholder frames for image. Ayan. This is an example of the crop and slice tools. So, alam ko naman na familiar kayo dito sa crop. The next one is the measuring tools. We have the eye dropper, dropper tool. Samples colors from an image. Yeah. Then next is the spot healing brush. Removes marks and blemishes. Then brush tool. It paints custom brush strokes. Then the clone stamp tool. It paints with pixel from another part of the image. Then, next is the History Brush Tool. It restores parts of an image to an earlier state. Yan. That is the example of the me uh, measuring tools. Ay, hindi. Retouching tools. Rather. Okay. 
Um, next tayo is the eraser tool. We have here the changes, fixes to the background, color, or makes them transparent. Um, gradient tool. It creates a gradual blend between colors. Blur tool. Um, blurs areas in an image. Dodge tool. Um, lightens areas in an image. Then pen tool. It makes and changes spots or shapes with the anchor and handles. Then horizontal type tool. It adds horizontal type. Then path selection tool. Um, selects a whole path. Rectangle tool. Draws rectangle. Hand tool. Pans over different parts of an image. Then the zoom tool. It moves or reduces the view of an image. And so this is our foreground and background colors. Yan, yung dalawang ito. Yan. So dito mapansin natin yung mga layers na gagamitin natin. Nandi dito sa kabila naman. So yun lang. Muna. Ayun, hello. So ngayon, tuturoan ko kayo kung paano mag-change ng background sa isang picture. So let's start. Uh, ngayon, control N for new. So, don't stop. So, we have here the size, width, yan, okay lang sa akin yan. Na naka-landscape. Then, pwede natin pwede ito. Kung gusto nyo centimeters, millimeters, inches, or points. And so, I prefer this one, inch. So, dito sa color mode, uh, we have the RGB color. Let's say RGB color mode. It is the best for digital work. While CMYK, ito, um, it is used for print products. So, mga tarpaulin, ayan. So, dito tayo sa RG. So, sa resolution naman. So, images in Photoshop can vary from high resolution. So, pwedeng 300 ppi or higher to low res resolution. Yung low resolution na dito is 72 pwede na or 96 ppi. So, gawin natin high resolution siguro. 300 so, dito, white as is na lang. So, create. Yan. So, now, um, kukuha tayo ng picture dun sa pictures. So, sa and you eat. So, image at ng picture. So, drag and drop na lang. So, drag and drop. Drop to that. So, yan. Click enter. Para. Okay. So, ngayon, ang gagamitin natin is the quick selection tool. And quick selection tool. So, Ayan, yung click natin dito is yung naka-plus siya. Make sure, ito yung pinilik. Then, dito tayo mo doon. Sa click natin. So, para magpalaki yung size nito, ito, is in the ito. size. Okay, next, um, zoom in out, uh, click natin yung alt sa keyboard, then scroll in and out sa mouse. So, ayusin natin natin as I Yeah. 
So, is nyo lang. Wala na ba sa nyo? So, so. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa layer. Ayan, yan yung layer. At yung photo na dito. So, ngayon. Right click sa mouse. And then. Pwede. Ayan, naka 0.5 pixels. Then, okay. Parang hindi halata yung sa gilang. Pat natin. Okay, next is Ctrl J. Para mag-duplicate. So, mag-duplicate yung ito. Yung sinalat natin. So, ito na siya. Ayan. So, okay na ito. Ayan. Duplicate na siya. So, now. Sa so, isang. So, um, ito. Delete na natin. Para yung bakit. So, drag, chas, and chash. And push na. So, da. Ayan. So, next, punta tayo sa documents. Punta tayo sa pictures. Then, click na. Winter Korea. So, drag and drop na lang. So, pixelated siya. Click natin yung enter. Then, natin. Dito. Then, yan. So, ngayon, um, tulo, tulo natin. Yung picture. Para natin gagawin yan. So, so first, oh, click nyo yung layer dito. Okay. Make sure na naka-click. Huwag nyo siya gawin. So, kung gusto nyo siyang i-resize, um, control T. So, resize. Pixelated siya. And press enter. So, mayroon na akong inayot ito kanina. So, guys, pwede nyo siyang i-save as PNG. Pwede, save as to save as PNG. So, madali ko siyang i-drop. Okay, mandi. Ctrl P to resize. is maaari nakalubog na yung pocket snow next is So, yun lang. Ganyan lang. Very simple. So, yun. If we are already done, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-save. So, file, save us. Pag gusto nyo JPEG file na, save us. Pero pag P PSD pa rin or Photoshop, save na lang. So, dito tayo save us. I'm not sure again. Save on, on your computer. So, dito, pwede natin desktop na lang. So, dito pwede yung PSD, yan, JPEG file, 
and maraming pwedeng ano dito PNG, Pixar, Photoshop Pro Photoshop PDF pero lipig na lang yan so yan can you change background next is save quality okay na yan pwede rin Okay. So, JPEG file na yan. So, tingnan natin. Sa ating... Let's go. Nakasave na talaga siya. Okay. Ayan. Ayan siya. Tada! So, ayan ako yun. Sa JPEG file. Kung save naman natin sa siya as a Photoshop, pwede rin. So, save as na naman natin para masave itong work natin. So, PSD. In case na hindi nyo patapos yung ano, pag-edit nyo, ganyan. Uh, save nyo muna as PD, uh, PSD. So, yun. Pwede nyo magkaparehas. Change background. Ayan. So, click save. Okay mo lang yan. So, yan. Na-save na yan. So, tingin natin. So, change background. Yung isa, JPEG. Then, yung isa, ayan, PSD na po siya. PSD po siya. Ayan. Pag i-edit nyo siya ulit, click nyo lang yan. So, ano, open nyo lang. Let's go to shop. Then, yun. Um, lalabas na siya ulit. Then, pwede nyo na naman mag-edit. Pwede na naman kayo mag-edit. So, yun lang. Thank you. Thank you.